Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Armenia is a small and landlocked country which has turned to India to beef up its defense amid the continued tensions with Azerbaijan which is a close ally of Pakistan and Turkey. India has already exported four sets of Swati weapon locating radar which has outperformed Russian and Poland's radar in the trials conducted to win the defense deal worth 40 million dollars. In September 2022, Armenia had signed a government to government deal worth rupees 2000 crore with India for import of missiles, rockets and ammunition. In April 2023, The Ministry of Defence has released a list of defence exports which reveals that in the year 2022-23 the indigenous advanced towed artillery gun system or ATACs were exported these guns are being manufactured by Bharat Forge and were exported to Armenia the chairman and managing director of Kalyani groups Baba Kalyani has told business line in an exclusive interview that Over a period of 3 years the company has to supply nearly 84 guns to a former Soviet Republic country in conflict with Azerbaijan of that 6 have already been shipped Bharat Forge is also in process to receive big orders for guns from Indian Ministry of Defence which has already received proposal from Indian Army to buy 307 ATACs for deployment along the border with China and Pakistan The proposal worth over 1 billion dollar and is under discussion and is expected to clear soon by cabinet committee on security. They would also be supplying 320 high mobility vehicles. Bharat Forge Limited has reported in its Q1 FY24 earning conference call that request for a quote for air taxes out and the orders are expected within 6 months. Now on the eve of Independence Day the Kalyani group has released a video in which we can see a glimpse of Atax and its beautiful camo these Atax are most likely for Armenia what looks more amusing is that the Atax which is an indigenously designed and developed artillery gun system is still awaiting orders from India and is expected in next 6 months whereas the gun is being ex- exported Talking about ATACs, the armament system of ATACs, which comprises of 52 caliber gun barrel with breech mechanism, muzzle brake, and recoil system, has been designed and developed to fire 155 mm caliber ammunition. ATACs is not just any artillery gun, but the world's best artillery gun with unmatched firepower. But the question is, what makes the gun world's best artillery? There are many features. because of which the gun is way ahead of its league atax was able to achieve this because of the optimistic parameters set by drdo for bharat forge while developing this the first feature that gives massive fire power and range to atax is its 25 liter chamber which no other artillery gun has the maximum volume of chamber featured around the world is 23 liters the bigger chamber allows the gun to fire ammunition with more charge which in turn provides more velocity and range to the ammunition this is the reason why atax is able to fire till range of 48 km while other artillery guns can fire at a maximum range of 40 km the difference of 8 km is huge as it keeps the artillery regiment 8 km behind the enemy's artillery reach and literally untouchable by enemy's artillery guns This is a huge advantage when compared to other light and medium artillery in service with Indian Army which has maximum range of up to 30 km. ATAX can fire ERFB BB projectile which has a range in excess of 45 km while other artillery guns in this class can fire this projectile till 40 km range. When we talk about ERFB BT ATAX can fire at a range of 35 km while other guns can fire this ammo till range of 28 km only. Baba Kalyani has also revealed that Bharat Forge is working on a rocket assisted hypersonic artillery that can fire up to a range of 120 km 
and this is definitely going to disrupt the technology in the world of artillery guns. ATAX has all electric drive configuration, a first in the world which enables relatively maintenance free and reliable operation over a longer period of time. The wear and tear is less as the number of moving parts are reduced considerably. Also, the management of spare parts becomes easier in case of all electric drives whereas this becomes a concern for hydraulic or pneumatic assemblies. The ATAX all electric drive operates all its gun controls, ammunition handling, opening and closing the breech and ramming the rounds into the chamber. This makes firing faster and easier. It was not easy to achieve this especially when the gun is being developed for the first time. ATAX has been designed to fire all current 155mm caliber ammunition in use with the forces. At present, the artillers around the world are designed to fire shells of 155mm caliber with up to 6 charge modules and can handle pressure up to 340 MPa. However, ATAX can fire existing ammunitions for Zone 7 charge with service pressure of more than 420 MPa. ATAX will also have the capability to program and fire future long-range guided munition or LRGM to achieve precision and deep strikes. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.